Hi and welcome to the Aria Park podcast vlogmas day seven. Made it a week. I should get a prize. More to the point, you should all be getting prizes for having to sit through the mess. On the agenda today, um, plan is I need to nip to the delivery office. Um, would take you with me, however, it's just going to be a whole load of sitting, at, sitting in roadworks because apparently council thought on every road of this village let's have roadworks I need to go to the post office and drop something off for Alex I'm going to come back I will run through what I'm wearing just now and then it's on to the massive pile of project bags that I need to go through um, we'll go through the project bags, see what needs to be put away. There'll be three piles. There'll be the keep pile, there'll be the rip out and put away, and there will be the just name put away pile. So that's the plan. I'll get that done today. I don't think there's going to be much knitting time this afternoon till tonight. Um, really need to get the corner in corner behind where you are that's where the Christmas tree sits that's where I normally bid from well I did until Andrew moved back in and stole my table so that is the plan I need to get that corner cleared so that I can get the Christmas tree in I do however need to relocate a lamp a stand-down lamp and I don't know how I'm going to do that. There's no way in here for that to go. So that's the plan for today. Um, what I'm wearing, I am, today I am wearing, I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in. Today this is The Circle by Albina McLaughlin. You've all seen it before. I'll stick a picture in somewhere. Um, this was knit from, yes, that was it. It was knit from Stylecraft Special DK in shade 1708, which is petrol. I love this cardigan to death. So much so that I have actually started an iron one. Um, really, really do love this cardigan. I wear it all the time. That thud was Aria coming off the couch. I do wear this all the time. It is one of my favourite knits. Um, and definitely one of my favourite Albina patterns. I will link it down below. Is the stop. This is Drops pattern 210-3, which is the cornflower top. This is knit in... Nope. Drops Paris, shade 100, which is light wash. I did look it up before I started. It takes a while. Um, this is the iron cotton. I love this top. Um, it's a wee bit chillier today, I think, when I looked, they were talking about snow. And um, so it is quite cold today, so I've put my iron top on, I've got my circle on, and the socks that I'm wearing today are. Sorry, there's weird people outside my house looking up at the roof. Well, not your roof. Looking at your roof and then looking at the neighbour's roof. Yeah, socks is the fidget socks by Amy Stringer. Stringer? No, Stringer. Wait, she's up there. Link it down below. Um, these were knit and West Yorkshire Spinners, shade 1051, which is vintage tinsel. They're not as long as I like my socks. 
and it's hard, obviously because it's quite a dark yarn it's harder to see the pattern which is why I was really happy with Sarah's suggestion of the 24 days socks they're comfy, they'll do, I'm only knitting to the post office and back well, the, deliv the delivery office and back mm. on to advent <sighs> sweetie, I'll have that later Ariel's ears perked up at the word sweetie That is lovely. How? There we go. No, we don't. Where's the? There we go. How nice is that? Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely love it. I am slightly further ahead on my anthology throw. I did manage to get to day three. Put in day, started putting day three in last night, but I'll show you that later on. Um, I will get this wound up later on. For now, it can sit in the bag. So. I am going to go, I am going to finish packing up Alex's stuff that I'm sending to Alex, nip to the post office, come back, possibly, it's 10 past 11, possibly have some lunch and then I'll start going through the project bags and sorting them out. Yes, that's the plan. I may have to go through my project bag box because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit any more stuff in that ba that box. So yeah, tidy up today. It's going to be fun. The lovely Mr. Bark did leave. That's right, just make racket all over the place. Move your thing. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go and shift my bum before the delivery office closes and I will see you and I'll be well. Bye! Good afternoon. It is 10 to 2. Oh. All I'm going to say is I have no problems with learning drivers. However, there are certain people who are on the road that should have their license taken off them. So, plan. I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to decide whether to keep it. I've got my laptop here so I can update it. Um, so I'm not going hunting for projects that I've ripped out. So, we're going to start. I have the, my Aria Bart podcast bag, which is just full of wool. So that's put away. So on this side, is put away and rip out, keep. So I'll start with the wee ones here. What's this? In my woolly brew mini ball bag. That's another bag that needs to put away. I'm doing well. Um, what's in this? This is the kiwi bag from Raylene. That is a keep. If I empty out, what's that? That is for a project. I have no idea what project. That's put away. That I can put away. Yes, so keep. That is the. This is the. two attempts at the Harvest Season show by Albina McLaughlin. Made a mistake. Rip Actually, I made a mistake and rather than ripping it back, I decided to restart it again. 
so that's to be restarted so while I'm here I am also going to make sure that all the projects have needles attached to them because currently on my project page it says it's 3.75 needles that I'm using can you see that clearly that says four And he's here, aren't you? You're here. I think someone's telling me this might take a while. Um, in my lovely cottage number nine bag, we have socks. Now, I think these are either, I don't think they're Rose City Rollers. They are the Jelly Roll Socks, Mara Catherine Briner. I think I've just put a toe on. Um, I'm going to keep, this is definitely a keep because I've just put the toe on. However, I think I'm going to put it there because I need to measure how much of a toe I've got left to put on it. So that gets kept and then I can get my two mil needles back plus that back. This is Andrew's. This isn't even my project, it's Andrew's. Um, what was happening with this? I have no idea what was happening with this. Again, I'm going to keep this. This was yarn given to Andrew by Heather in a bag given to Andrew by Heather. And 500 needles. Right, I think I'm going to have to see him what he's went and done with that. I think remember correctly I think I was to knit that for him. So that's that one, that's definitely a keep. In my key bag from Rip Crack Room this is Gloche by Albina McLaughlin, this is Ryan's Arm Jumper, this is definitely getting kept. So that can stay in there. In a makeup bag that I got from Nairn. This is the next project in my makeup bag that I got from Nairn. This is the Nightfall Show by AK Laurie Designs. I'm going to touch that in a while. Um, definitely keeping that, so that's definitely getting kept, I'll just put it into a hibernation. Next project, another Rick Rack Room bag. This is Stephen West. I may have possibly took the needles out of this. Not saying that I definitely did, however, I may have possibly took the needles off this. Yes, I did. Right, so that can go into hibernation. Make sure there's no other needles at the bottom of this bag. No, there's not. Do you want to smell? Is that good? Next project in another Rick Rack Room bag is... Did I rip that out already? I have already ripped out the Rocket Tea. Can you stop licking the sofa? Are you feeling... Is it hard work supervising? Right, so I need another bag. Rocket Tea can be put away. You're now licking my top. Stop it. You are a monkey. What are you? Are you a naughty monkey? Are you a very naughty monkey? Do you want to sniff the yarn? Do you want to sniff? Thank you. It's my face weight now. 
Next one, we have more yarn to put away. We have the two balls. This is Hollyberry. This is Silent Night. Um, where's that one? That can go in there. That can get put into there. Cushion. This is the rest of the yarn for this. Do I honestly think I am going to need this amount of yarn? No, I don't. However, I will stick some more balls in just to be on the safe side. Next, even more yarn. These are the Grasshopper and the Socks for Ryan. Even more yarn to put away. I'm doing well. My Yarny Corner B bag. Socks, they're getting kept. These are the socks on a plane. I'll hibernate them. I'll keep them. I'll keep them. I'm not going to hibernate socks because they're good for keeping them on the go. So that's fine. This is a bag from my yarny corner i am pretty sure this was gifted polygon is going to get hibernated i've got far too many bits andrew's jumper and my yet another bag for my yarny corner nothing keeps me from unraveling this is the Andrew's cardigan is Great Love by Anka's Trick. <clears throat> Still not fixed it. However, I'm not ripping it out. That can stay there. Um, this is a bag that I made, my Bambi bag. And I said to put the panels upside down. This is my Anne Circle by Albina McLaughlin. I'm going to hide the fact that my needle stoppers are sticking the fingers up. This is how much I've done so far. I'm on the rib. I am not taking this beast out. Um, I am very close to finishing. All I have to do is the ribbon round the neck and the two sleeves. So that will be staying. You are going to go into hibernation, my little puppet, and my Naomi's favourite bag that I received from Heather. What do we have? Two balls of yarn and a mask. What we've got? We have absolutely no needles and two socks. My mouse went for a walk. Do we have? That does not mean your nef your nephews. Andrew has three rats, and whenever you see the mouse went for a walk, she has a look for one of the rats. Um, no, I did not even make a project page for this. So these are going to be getting ripped out because I want that bag back and my sheet bag from Rick Rack Room what is it in here Miss Mitchell by Helen Stewart that's rip out yeah I've already ripped, deleted the project page this was a notions pouch that came in my bigger bag that is there I'm going to use this as a sock bag because I'm pretty sure there's socks in here. No, I just yarn. <clears throat> oh no, it was a ball hugger I was making. And there's the other 2.25 needle that I was looking for. Yes, so this can stay um, in the bigger bag from Raylene. That is just a whole load of yarn. 
This is yarn for Scale Gra by Albina McLaughlin. Um, I think I'm just going to put that yarn away because I'm not going to have time to do it now. In my Lovey Enemy project bag, what do we have? Oh, yeah. Um, this is a rip. This is the Habitation Throw by Helen Stewart. But I started on a whim and got bored. Actually, I don't even think I got bored. I think I just decided stuff that I'm wanting the needles more than I want the project. I will redo this one. However, right now, I will put it away. Oh, Aria, you look so depressed. You're just having a nap before Dad comes home. Are you? Are you just depressed Mum doesn't have anything for you to eat? I'm not going to lie, this went a whole lot easier than what I thought it was going to go. Because that's the box empty. Um, my parcel to Alex has been sent. Um, that will take a couple of days to get there um, because of postal issues. Um, it was sent 24 hours tracked, so it's what it is. What else happened? Yeah, got caught on the way home with... On the way there, I got caught behind a driver who clearly thought that driving at 15 mile an hour on a 40 mile an hour limit was fantastic and on the way back got caught behind a cyclist and had a van nearly parked inside my car on the road home because he was way too close to the back of my car so the habitation throat can be put away i'm just going to bend them that can just get bend I can put away and so can that. I have just one more bag to go. And this I'm pretty sure is two balls of wool. Yes. Um oh what's this called? Rosie's knit and shed something and drops fable. For a pair of socks. I know exactly what socks they are. I would just leave them at the bottom of the bag so I'm not getting them done next year. So yeah, that's the bag empty. That was not nearly as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Um, I think part of the problem is we have one, two, three. There's three jumpers in here. So it does make it look a lot bigger than what it is. So I'll have one back box to find room for. Um, this can get rob knocked, knocked out. Don't knock it out, rip it out. I can rip that out. You can sit there. Yeah. This was a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to be. Clearly there was a lot more yarn to be put away than what there was anything else. What I will do since this is finished, I will stick all the yarn that's to be put away in this basket. That way it will make it easier for me taking it through. yeah so yeah that's are you giving yourself a wash are you making yourself all clean and presentable for people's are you are you making yourself all clean and presentable for people's do you want them to put the, the cushion down you can have an app oh and it does cushion I know what I've knit your there you go. There you go. 
Hay không phải là Yêu không phim khổ gì Ui, oh, you're so cute You're so cute Yes, so That went a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to go Now, all I've left to do Is put it away Which could be easier said than done um, I think I might just wrap it in the my ward, bottom of my wardrobe and leave it there for now. I have Zoom tonight at 8pm. So the plan will be, chances are I might possibly finish the jelly roll socks because they are very, very close to being finished. Yes, I've got a lot more to do than I thought I did. I'll just keep working on it. Got a wee bit more to do on that. It's really nice though. Um, I think I might do that. Might be incentive for me to hurry up and put this stuff away. Because if once I don't do that, I can sit in it in my sock while I'm editing. I am now going to put my other sock back on because my toes are freezing. Aria is now going for her afternoon nap and I'll get them put in the bin. So yes, another semi-productive day. Not done much on the anthology throw. Um, that's up there. I can't be bothered getting up off the floor. It's going to take a while. I might need to wait until Andrew's comes off that call and quickly shout through, Andrew come help me up off the floor. Or I need to sit here for three hours until Ryan comes in for Ryan to help me up off the floor. It sounded good at the time. You don't have your bandana on, do you? Because Mum needs to wash it. Because I went to the park and got it mucky. Didn't you? You got your bandana all mucky. It's right, it has to be washed now. You're running about naked. Because she's no longer had a donation, what we tend to do is keep her collar off her while our fur grows back so our collar's no rubbing off our bald spot. You want to show everybody your bald spot? You going to show everybody your bald spot? Right, you need to put your head up. Addy has a bald spot, right? there don't you it's coming back a wee bit you wear that bald spot with pride don't you that's your life-saving bald spot your claws are quite long will mum cut your toenails you can see she's not enamoured with that one she's like so that is everything i will quickly go and wing these ones back up and put them away and stick keep my sock ruler off of there before I lose it yeah so that is me um, I will be back tomorrow um, I'm on that's what I was going to say I have finally caught up to day 3 on my advent that has been day 3 has been started um, so I'm only really four days behind. Um, if I can get a good chunk put on it, I should be able to catch up. Um, I am watching X Files. I forgot how good the X Files were. I have to keep like bringing up what episode amongst I just keep next episode, next episode, and every now and again I have to remind myself that I need to bring up what episode I'm on so I can add the films in and progression. I am that sad. Um, so that's my plan. I am on episode 13. I think I've got another 13 episodes to go before I watch a film. I was a massive X-Files fan in high school. Bordering on obsessive. I had all the DVDs. 
and the film and the t-shirts and posters so yes I am going to go I hope you have a very very crafty evening and I will see you back here again tomorrow bye good morning lovely people it is day eight of vlogmas I am going to combine day seven and day eight because there's not very much going on today obviously yesterday I went through all my projects I am currently putting the toe on a sock after having wrapped it round there we go we're free I am putting the toe onto a sock they are the jelly rolls by Catherine Ma Mara Bryna I have absolutely no knitwear on today I, ha I do have I'm saving my blanket however I am wearing no knitwear obviously yesterday was quite a long one quite got round to editing yesterday's vlog and then we had zoom last night and that went on that was very rock raucous a lovely time was had we had such a good laugh um, I am now looking for clear plastic boots unfortunately ladies I will be declining the option of the 15 inch heel I don't need to be that tall yeah so we had a good night last night yarn what we're here for now I've already opened this I was a bit I'm a bit dopey this morning yarn today is No, I'm not going to unravel it. I had a hard time getting it to fit in my bag. So this is it. That oh, it's got to be flashes of colour in it. Extra today is a lovely handmade tag. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to stick that back in here. I have done absolutely no work on the anthology throw or round socks. I'm hoping to get a bit more done once I get both toes put in these socks. Jeez, oh, I got caught in the snow and now my hair just won't sit. I think I might need to go get another wash. We have Zoom this morning. So while on Zoom, I'll finish the heel. It's not heel, it's toe. I'll finish the toe on both the socks and hopefully get some more work done on Ryan's sock. These took ages. The poor ladies of Zoom must have been going demented last night, I mean moaning how long this took. Now I measured these and I was only supposed to have about an inch to go. Kept knitting, kept knitting, kept knitting, kept knitting. Nope, still had a bit to go. I have now got to the toe on, both of them are ready for the toe. Put one on a circular needle just now because I thought I had two balls of the contrast colour. Turns out I don't. Um, I don't know what these are. I will speak about them tomorrow once they're done. That way I can check to see what yarn I used. Um, this, I know for a fact, is covered in area bum hair. Drops Fable. I can't remember what colourway that is. But I did use it in a jumper. And this, I think is either a King Cole or a Stylecraft head over heels. So it's either going to be King Cole zigzag, which I think it might be, or it's going to be one of the head over heels. I'm going to go with the King Cole. But again, I'll give you all the details tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go, because I have to go and speak to my ladies, and catch up. Not that very much there's there should be very much to catch up on considering we never came off till twenty five to twelve last night. But you never know, things happen. Um I have lost my scissors. Okay. I don't know what I've done with my scissors. I'm gonna have to find them. So yes, I hope you have a very, very crafty afternoon evening day tomorrow until i can get uploaded hopefully there will be progress to show you tomorrow on projects 
I am just going to sit here, it is freezing, it has snowed. I'm going to stay here nice and cosy under my Stephen West, knitting on socks, speaking to my ladies. That's my plan for today. Sock day today. I'm going to get all the socks done. That would be a miracle if I got round, both round socks done. So I hope you have a very, very crafty evening and I will see you back here again tomorrow. Are you saying bye? Are you saying bye? Are you saying bye, lovely peoples? Bye, lovely peoples. I know you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Are you such a good girl? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're very fluffy, aren't you? You're very, very fluffy. That dog thinks she's a cat. Bye!